Hello, and welcome to, I guess, I don't know what to call it. I, I will actually give you some options of what to call our series of videos on local history. If you've got some ideas, I'd love to hear it because I'd like to give an introduction of some sort. But today we're going to be talking about the Hamner Room. For those of you who don't know what the Hamner Room is, it is a local history department, local history and genealogy department that we have in our main branch at the Ironton Library. It's located on the second floor and it is a wealth of information on local history, genealogy. If you're looking for information, it's got some great resources. And one of the first questions most people want to know is why is it called the Hamner Room? Well, it's a very interesting uh, story because it was actually named after someone who wasn't even from Lawrence County. Her name was Phyllis Hamner, and in 1954, she obtained her master's in library science, and in 1957, she moved to Ironton, Ohio. She became a employee at the Briggs Lawrence County Public Library, and she began to realize just what a rich history Lawrence County had, and she began to worry that that history would disappear if someone didn't start trying to preserve it, and so she began determined to record and find as much information and history as she could and she went to great lengths to preserve different informations and different things um, she actually was one of the first people to go into the archives it was kept in the courthouse attic and she spent years there working um, her efforts received a national recognition as well as local recognition and um, for her dedication and for her work in the field of genealogy. Sadly, she died on October 4th, 1985. But just two years later, on December 5th, 1987, the Phyllis Hamner Room was dedicated in her honor. Since its creation, the room has gone through many changes and collections. It's moved two or three times. Um, it has expanded to include not just local histories from Lawrence County and genealogies, but it also includes the rest of the tri-state. We have newspapers. We have marriage records. We have birth registers and death registers, which are they precede birth record, birth certificates and death records. Um, we have copies of the history books. We have local authors, a local local author section where you'll find books by local authors, including myself. Uh, just a wealth of information. We have yearbooks. They're hit and miss for locals, for the local schools, but we do have some even going back to the early 1900s. Um, uh, we do have, they are not open the same hours. The room is not open the same hours as the Ironton branch. It does have shorter hours right now. It is from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. But we always say call ahead because we never know what could be happening. But um, it is a wealth of information and really want to invite you to come and join us and take a look at what we have available. And remember, it's the Phyllis Hamner Room, but you can just call us the Genealogy Local History Room. They'll get you to that right place. If you have some questions, call us at 740-532-1124. You can also find some of our records and information by going to our website at www.brigslibrary.com. On our website, you can access some excellent genealogy resources, including Fold 3, and uh, Heritage Quest. We do have in-house access to Ancestry.com, but you have to be in one of our buildings to get that access. I want to thank you for tuning in, and I will talk to you later.